Hello all, welcome back to Isomnium Files. Yeah, this might be close to the end, I don't know. You said that the end game was rather lengthy, but I'll do my best. Um, anyway. Oh, good luck with that. <laughs> A dab already, huh? Yeah, so last time we got some answers about what's going on, and this time we are sinking with what? ourselves, question mark? <laughs> Hello, Yuka. <laughs> Thank you very much for the sub. PSRK1Z music, PSRK1Z music, <laughs> PSRK1Z music. Thank you, text-to-speech. Anyway, um, yeah, so we are sinking with, um, Prisoner89, who is technically us, kind of. <laughs> Yeah, it turns out we really were the killer. What? Oh, okay, so we're just going. Am I being synced? What do you think is going on? I guess. I can't touch it. Oh, there's a knife. What? Damn it, what is this? Yeah, what is this? Hmm. 
But uh, also, um, I do wonder where the identity of Kaname Date came from. Is it just a name that the boss gave them after he lost his memories? We do have time. Huh. I, I mean, I guess the time doesn't seem to be that impactful. This is all pretty much scripted, right? To a door? What is this? A door! This wasn't here before. Hello, dear. <laughs> Welcome to Nas Platoon. This could be Splatoon if it tried to be. This is. Hello, Yon. We're solving the mystery. Yep, that sure is them. Adopted daughter sister. <laughs> it's complicated, isn't it? Well, this has definitely been the easiest sink so far. Oh, hey! Can we... That's a jump! What? There we go. <laughs> Let's 
against them. <laughs> You okay? Oh, there. Hey, Saito, are you okay? You're... Uh... Let's knock it down. I can't. I just can't do it. Wink. You're... Damn, nothing. You're... I'm touched. Really? We just got to investigate it? Come on. Pleasant sight. I'm sinking. Think. I can't stop it. Is that supposed to be like a pun or something? Okay, I, I guess we just keep sinking. What do I do? We sink. How about that? Get with the program. What is this? <laughs> I choose. Hmm. Are we still sinking? No. Was... Oh, okay. So that's it, huh? Are we 
actually back at Spellco. <laughs> I did it! I did it! Oh, this feeling! I'm back! I uh, yes, the back. feeling of not being able to feel joy, aside from Chile. This fake eye is awful. Well, I suppose it's better than nothing. You fool. I think I'll keep it. Oh. This prototype machine has a special function. The body I am transferring my consciousness into will receive a stimulant. The other body receives a sedative. You will be feeling it soon. Oh, oh but don't worry. Like I told you earlier, my plan is to kill Iris and Hitomi in front of you. So I can't be killing you right away. You will watch them die and then you will follow in their footsteps. You should be honored. Ratty cake, ratty cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Had <laughs> it. Hold Can't believe it. in this situation, it this is fruit. the memory that we get back. Put it in the oven. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. I win, I win. Yay! Now you have to take the penalty. The penalty game. Up, up, side to side, up, down, pinch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> this is the most important memory Iris, to him. Remember when you asked me what your stage name should be? How about Aset? Okay, but you maybe he's less horny this way. It's a very special flower that blooms in the cold. A winter iris. Just like the iris from Greek mythology. She's the messenger goddess. And the goddess of rainbows, too. Oh. That's right. No, that doesn't help. Thank you. That's why the iris means good news and hope. You met mommy at this shrine, right? <laughs> Why is this more important than the Minecraft milk? No. Be my dad. 
Hilarious. The Okonomiyaki War. Irish drew it. She must have really enjoyed herself. She even said that she wanted to do it again soon. Yeah, we should. We'll do it whenever she likes. Falco, no. Maybe even every day. <laughs> Don't make it too difficult for me, tell me. Oh, you. Every day? Hey, tell me, do you want to live together, the three of us? Uh, are you sure? What do you mean? People are going to talk. <laughs> I don't care about that one bit. Well then, hypothetically... Hypothetically... What if Iris and I were being hunted down by a secret organization? Well, I'd defend you, of course. What if they're zombies? <laughs> what if they're zombies? <laughs> what? Zombies? Remember when we went to that haunted house and you were clinging to my arm? Because it was dark and it came out of nowhere. Oh my god. But fine. I don't care if it's zombies or aliens or whatever else. I will defend you and Iris with my life. Thank you. Well then? My answer is yes. My god. He's so lame. He's so as Falco. You wanna go clean? Fine. Do as you please. You've done a lot for us, but there is one last thing. One final job I want you to do for me. It's nothing major. This woman and her daughter, I need you to dispose of them. Should be simple, no? Oh yeah, now I'm kind of wondering about the sequel and how <laughs> that's is... portrayed. What, uh, you got it. I want you on this right away. If you could do it in two, maybe three days, that would be great. Good luck. I see. Oh, okay, so... I hear some pretty crazy confessions in my line of work, but this one takes the cake. But don't worry, all right? You could have told me you were being attacked by Martians and I still would have believed you. Boss, please. So, can you help me? I do have one idea. Huh? Have you heard of the new investigation department, Abyss? I was put in command there. What's the... 
the sink machine is normally used to look inside someone's oh hand. Oh my god, this was it her idea? You can technically use it to swap bodies. Oh no! Swap bodies? Right. So if we use that... What do you mean? I mean, switch bodies with Rohan. The new you will be Rohan, chairman of the Kumakuras. Oh my god! I send out an order. No one lays a finger on Hitomi and Iris. What about Rohan? Won't he be in my body? Just get rid of it, I guess. Get rid of it! Get rid of it? You can take this opportunity to get rid of Falco once and for all. No one will know what really happened. My god! No one will ever find out that a police officer was moonlighting as an assassin. It's two birds with one stone, right? Um... Um... Wow. All right. Leave everything to me. Hayato Yagyu. Wow, that was his real name. How did we go from that to Kaname Date? Boss, after? how did you bring in Rohan Kumakura? I made up some charges and had the cops take him in. <laughs> Is that okay? Yeah, it'll be fine. Boss. Because he's about to switch bodies. <sighs> All right. Rohan has been um, this feels extremely highly illegal. Remember, to get your consciousness to fully transfer. Yeah, I know. I understand. Stay in Somnium for more than six minutes. Right. Um, we're counting on you. Let us begin. Three, two, one. I'm sure there would be other ways of doing this, right? Alright, well, what a mind to uh, sink into. <laughs> Get your own idea? Does that mean I'm Hayato Yagyu? The switch worked. And there's been a breakthrough in the case. I know, you don't have to say it. Regarding the Cyclops serial killings, right? How did you know? We can monitor what happens in the Somnium from this room. We should ask him about it. Um, good idea. Can you? When Rohan wakes up, we'll interrogate him. This is all sorts of hyped up. Huh? 
What? Pewter, where is he? Uh, how, how did that happen? happen? This is bad. Literally, how? Hey, which way did Rohan go? Huh? Rohan's standing right there. No, this isn't Rohan. Yagyu, where is Yagyu? Where did he go? Oh, him. He just left. What? Amazing. Why didn't you stop him? What do you mean? He's a detective. He said he wanted to leave, so I opened the door. God. Did I do something wrong? Why is the police officer even in there? No, don't tell me. doing here at this hour all right well that does explain this scene oh stop you're always flattering me anyway um come on in i'll make us some tea oh <laughs> uh, it is true real life police it's Rather like this. You bastard! No! Stop! No. Stop right there. How did they all explain the situation to higher ups to get back up? <laughs> they they really do just lie. Everyone, listen up. Hitomi Sagan and her daughter Iris are untouchable from this day forward. If any of you lay a single finger on them, you don't want to know what'll happen to you. Are we clear? Yes, yes sir. Meet with Saito. Figure out the truth behind the Cyclops' murders. As long as you're like that, I think I'll be more open with you. God. Oh my god. He used to dress like that. Wow. Um. <laughs> that was your idea. I don't understand why you're asking me. My idea, was it? Yes. You told me that you suffer from hemispatial neglect. That you can't recognize the right half of your vision. You always eat the left half of your meals and all that. The same is true of the faces of those you've killed. You can't recognize faces out of your right eye, which means you can only see the right half of their faces. And that's why you pull their right eye. That's what you told me anyway. How long has it been since we last met? 
Oh my gosh, I wonder what Saito thinks of this conversation. That's an odd question. Humor me. The first time we met was when I killed Monica. And my father asked you to deal with the body. But we didn't so much as see each other for 12 years after that. Why are you asking me this? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> this is just... What was the next time we met? About half a year ago. And what did I tell you then? You don't remember? Remind me. I remember you showed up rather suddenly. You really want to kill people? I'll find you targets. Just let me keep the eyes. Then we both get what we want. We'll make good partners. Wow. Do you have some? Oh my life? god. How is he a detective? <laughs> uh, like, how is he so bad at this? All throughout the game, we've messed up on just simple interactions like this. Oh my god. Uh, let me think. What'll it be? The fifth murder? The fifth Cyclops killer victim? Hold on. Could you not refer to us like that? Why not? I told you, it's very old-fashioned. But that's our name. A name you decided. You even sent that letter without my permission. You said it would throw off their investigation. I don't know how effective it was. So there's no relation to Greek mythology? Oh my god. What? Don't ask me. You're the one who came up with it. Oh my god. Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Hey, Saito, could you come with me for a bit? Where are we going? There's a place I want to take you. Really? Is it perhaps the police station? What are you doing? You aren't the real Rohan Kumakura. I could tell as soon as you opened your mouth. Nice job, Falco. Let's get a change of scenery. Fortunately for you, I am interested in hearing you talk. Mr. Kumakura showed me this place. So it's fitting that this is where you die. What a wonderful feeling. The truth serum is working beautifully. Wow. I see. I see. You got into that body with a sink machine. Fascinating. Man, I'm see? <laughs> Saito's is better at this than he is. I want to see it for myself. The prototype sink machine. Where is it? Chiba? You there. Why don't you go and fetch it for me? Don't worry. I'll pay whatever it costs. Oh my god. <laughs> the entire situation. Oh my god, why is he so bad at this? Well. It looks like preparations are complete. I wouldn't say Saito is stupid in the way that, you know, we think of stupid. Saito is just doing whatever the heck he wants. Let's say you and I get started. He's not thinking things through, certainly. But like, this is just what he wants to do right now. All right, let's go. <laughs> Surely. No sign of oxytocin anywhere here. Hmm. 
You're... Saito Sejima? Hmm. I guess not. Uh huh? Sorry, I just had a feeling. I heard that the prototype machine was stolen, so... We lost communication for a whole week. Who are you? <sighs> just as I thought. You've lost your memory. I, I mean... Saito wouldn't... Know her, right? So if this really was Saito, then yeah, <laughs> yeah, boss just never told us about any of this. But I mean, there is certainly a reason why she would know that the original Psychops killer couldn't have done anything because she was right there with the original Psychops killer all the time. All right. From now on, think of me as your boss. Boss? That's right. That's what you'll call me. Come with me. To where you belong. My god. Oh. I managed to make a new family register for you. From today on, you have a new name and a new life. As a member of Abyss, the team I run. You want me to be a police officer? You were a policeman before, remember? You've already passed the exams. There shouldn't be a problem. But the new me didn't pass. That's fine. Trust me. It won't be a problem. It will be a problem! We suck at this job! But then again, we were never good at it. That congressman knows how to pull strings. Who? No one. Never mind. So what's my new name? Kaname Date. I hope you like it. Kaname Date. Yep. Nice to meet you, Date. Guys. The official title is A.I. Ball. You may call her Iba. The artificial intelligence contained within this sphere is nothing short of miraculous. Special Agent Date, from today forward, this is your partner. She will be your personal computer and your um, personal companion. I am gonna have to ask, this was one year after he got Saito's body. Who was injecting him with oxytocin since, uh, I mean, up to that point? Yeah, like, Iba has been dealing with his oxytocin. But who has been giving him oxytocin before then? Oh my god. How are you feeling? Your head clearing up? 
I have been waiting. I really want you to enjoy this show. I need you to see it clearly. Awake. Looking at it. <sighs> Guys, this whole what are you thing. Doing? Follow him. After the sink six years ago, I became a parasite in Rohan's body. But I was broken. The sink only sent data to my brain piece by piece. But that error did allow me to escape prison. No! Stop! It was Rohan who was accused of injuring Hitomi. Naturally, I went to trial, being the one inside Rohan's body at the time for a violation of firearms law and attempted murder. However... Prosecution tried to get him on premeditated murder, but... it was determined that he was insane at the time. Anyway, they decided to keep him in a special hospital. I mean, you know, Stop right as, there. as nonsensical as everything is, um, I did give them props for tying everything together at least. Um, by accepting the things that this game sets as actual occurrences in this universe. Um, I'm glad that everything at least Six makes years sense. Ago. Rohan in Falco's body visited Hitomi's house and tried to kill her. But that didn't go very well. He was arrested by the police. He was sent to trial and sentenced to life in prison. It only makes sense. Falco was an assassin responsible for countless murders. The title Assassin makes it sound so clean and professional, doesn't it? But he was a murderer, a serial killer. Life in prison was a light sentence as far as I'm concerned. You yeah. deserved far worse. <laughs> if we consider sinking as a real thing that can happen in this universe, then everything does make sense by that logic. The whole parallel worlds thing is still kind of something ice, but it's fine. You would know more about that than me. Or do you not remember? You've been using other men's names for so long you don't even know your own. It's Yagyu. Hayato Yagyu. Yes, that's right. You're a Japanese native who worked as a police officer. Imagine a police officer being a serial killer. I don't think the public would react kindly to that if they found out. Heads would roll, departments would fold, there would be shameful suicides. So, your superiors decided that erasing every record of your existence was the preferable option. Hayato Yagyu ceased to exist. <laughs> and Falco, uh, the anonymous assassin, was sent to prison. I mean, even if it would make more sense to understand it as a reference, you know, like, that is something that is still kind of illogical. Where he was known as number 89. Fitting for a man with no name.
You have a choice. Iris and Hitomi. Die before these two or after. I would of course prefer that you choose the latter. It would be quite a lonely affair with no one watching. So, what do you want to do? I need my help. I'll give you to the count of three. One. Two, three. No, wait. Damn. Hey, gosh. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. But are you really Dante? Yeah. How'd you know? Yeah, someone called Aiba told me about it. Ah, it was weird. It was kind of like eavesdropping. Aiba? Where is she? I don't see her anywhere. <laughs> Inside his left eye socket. <laughs> What's wrong? Sorry, but bastard got me. Take this. Do it. Tessa and her mom are in danger, right? Please, save them. Amazing. Thank you, Moma. Thank you, Iva. The real MVP. <laughs> Date, do you like fireworks? I love them. A brilliant, glimmering fragment of time. Uh oh. Should I save? Is this gonna be difficult? This has been going on for quite some time, so I don't know exactly when the. Okay. Yeah, let me just save real quick, just in case something goes wrong. I don't want to repeat all of those cutscenes. The flash begins as a perfectly ordered chemical reaction that melts into chaos. Human lives are the same, are they not? As is the universe itself. Damn it! I can't get in my sight. And I can't get any help from Iva. Blooming. Scattering in the moment. And it's only a single moment, isn't it? A unique moment that you can never revisit. <laughs> I'm just thinking right now, right? It's like I was with him. Wouldn't it be funny in a way? Like, wouldn't it be really funny that he went through all of this trouble? <laughs> No, like, you know, he he went through all this trouble to get his original body back, the body that can't produce oxytocin. But like, what if he tries to kill, but I was injecting him with oxytocin, so he still can't... Well, he still can't have the same life as before. Wouldn't that be tragic for him? <laughs> That's what makes life. Should I just risk it? But if I miss, I'll hit Iris. But I've spoken enough. It's showtime. I will show you the most beautiful fireworks God. you've ever seen. The scattering of the cerebral plasma. The splattering blood. It's art. Perfect. Beautiful art. Of a lonely moment in time. Don't blink. I want this to burn into your retinas. Well, the one you have left. Damn it! What do I do? What do I do? Toria! Oh 
Oh my god. Mizuki. Ah. You bastard. What do you think you're doing to Iris? Tessa. That's right. Kick his ass, Mizuki. Wait, Mizuki. Amazing. <laughs> Now that Dante is back in his original body and Saito is in the twenty body, body, he's easy to knock out. <laughs> no, I can't find him anywhere. Where the hell is he? <laughs> hey, urban legend. Welcome. How's your foot? I'm fine. This is nothing. Stop worrying about me and go get that guy. Do you guys know what's all going on then? I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Go save my mom. Some girl named Iba told me to come. I heard everything. About the mind swapping too. I heard it too. From Saito. Cool. It's really you, right? We'll talk about that later. Yeah, of course. If I didn't come, who would? Oh, but don't flatter yourself, Date. We didn't come here for you. We're here to save Iris and Hitomi. Right. Got it. Didn't you guys at least say that? I look cooler this way. <laughs> okay, okay. Um I have an even bigger audience now. That's fine. Having more spectators will be a treat for us all. I bet. I bet help. You all want to see, don't you? The fireworks. Thanks, every legend. <laughs> I guess, you know, Falco at least looks more mature. Question mark. So you don't want to see the fireworks? Fine. Let's do this then. Date, drop your weapon. I promise I'll put the fireworks on hold. I'll even release this woman. He's lying, Date! Don't do it! Throw down your gun, Date. Ah, I see. You don't intend to take me up on my generous proposal? Mate. You want to shoot me, is that it? Then do it. But you only get one shot. You have to kill me with one bullet. If you don't, the fireworks show will begin in earnest. And I will blow this woman's brains into the sky. 
He's being very generous with all this time that he's giving us. What will it be, Dante? What will you do? Oh gosh, can we save? Okay. So I am assuming one of them is going to give us like a bad ending scenario and then another is going to proceed. So let's see. Um, first let's not pull the trigger and see what happens, I guess. Maybe? Unless, do you guys remember which option continues? Or does it actually matter in this case? Um... Yes to... Uh... Yeah, so I was thinking maybe don't pull the trigger and see if that gives us the, like, bad ending or something. Um, since I'm assuming, you know... Yeah, we can do the bad ending first to get out of the way so we can, you know, just proceed with the actual story. If that makes sense. Oh, pulling the trigger is the bad ending? What? Oh, okay. I can't. I can't hit him at this range. I can't aim with one eye. Uh. If only Ibu was here, I could take him out with her assist gauge. Do we accidentally shoot Hitomi? Is that what happens? Damn it! My limbs are weak. Is it the sedative? It's no good. I can't get him in my sights. Don't be a wimp, Dante. I've only got one shot. If I miss, it's all over. Oh, this is annoying though. This gun is a bolt action rifle. If I fire and miss, he'll have enough time while I'm pulling back the lever too. Can't miss. Tommy's life is on the line. Come on. Come on. Summon your anime protagonist powers or something. Even if I don't take the shot, Hitomi's still in danger. I have no choice. Please hit him. Oh, that's it? Man! We don't even get to see, you know, more deaths of what happened. Alright, fine. Let's, uh, reload. No, what? Okay, so we don't actually pull. Well done. However, you aren't out of the woods yet. You have to throw your gun down, remember? You have one minute. If that weapon is still in your hands, I'll start the fireworks. And one more thing. If any of you move, I'll skip down to zero. Let's begin. Ready? 59. 58. Dante, look! 
It's that girl I told you about. Aiba. Date, I do not have much time. Listen carefully. As I mentioned previously, I cannot escape this body. The surge of electricity shorted out my circuits. I cannot administer a paralyzing electric shock either. Oh man, that would be so easy. However, there is another option. Huh? Self destruct. Let us determine a code number. Command four one two zero five. If you issue this command, I will detonate. No, that's still too dangerous. The number will be the first lock. If I give you the second command within one minute of the first... What is the second command? How about if I tell a lie? A lie? No, something that's not the truth. If I say something untrue, I want you to regard it as the second command. Is your data stored in the cloud? Unfortunately, that data has all been deleted. Oh no. I'm speaking to you using only local data. Then, if your body is destroyed... Ten. Nine. Say it, Date. Six. Five. Date. We got it. Command. Two. One. Even more of an idiot than I thought. Do I look like the kind of man who keeps his No. <laughs> now you get to see five fireworks. If you didn't drop your gun, it would have only been one. You understand? After I dispose of this woman, I will pop their heads as well. <laughs> I can't believe you did that. Fortunately for you, you won't have long to regret it. Yes. Yes. The burning in your eye. I see it now. Watch. Eyes open. Watch this woman die. See her brain burn like fireworks. Iba, can you hear me? Yes. We don't have a choice. Command <laughs> four one two zero five. Okay, Date. I, I. Thanks, Iba, for everything. I... I hate you, Iba. I hate you, and I never want to see you again. Second command confirmed. Amazing. Be seeing you. <laughs> oh, my God. So he literally just Wow. Has Aiba always been in your left eye? Yeah. Why didn't you 
tell me? I thought you'd be jealous. <laughs> jealous. Huh? Thank you so much, Uncle. No, don't thank me. Thank my partner. Mr. Falco. It is you, Falco. Right? You shouldn't call me that. I am Konami Date, MPD, Special Investigation Team Abyss. Sinker. He's just telling them everything now, huh? Okay, but what, how, um, how are they going to, like, explain all of this to the higher-ups and stuff? Why is he so bad at this? Oh wow, 13 months later! Oh, Iris is still alive. Oh, Does that I mean she that. got um her procedure? Oh, this? <laughs> it's just a prosthetic. It doesn't bother me. Oh, good. <laughs> Man. Well, thanks. So As you can see, I'm great! Hop hop! Kangaroo goes hop! <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad the surgery went well. Yeah! The nanomachines went pew pew and bzz bzz and got rid of all the tumors! Yay! At least, that's what I think they sound like. I don't know, they're small. Anyway, everything is fine now. The doctor even said I can dance again! That's the most important thing. All thanks to the boss. She paid for the treatment. Can you believe it? Oh, wow. It? Oh, amazing. Yikes. Wow. Um. Okay, so Hyrus. Iris gets to live off of hush money, huh? Maybe I owe it to the shrine. I feel like I ate the fruit of immortality. Oh god. In a dream somewhere. Then I guess you're immortal, huh? <laughs> we'll see 50 years from now. The way you are now is more familiar for me anyway, so... My old uncle is back, you know? Besides, I don't care what you look like. You're always uncle to me. Isn't that how it should be? To judge by our hearts and not by our appearance? So I'm really that ugly, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. It's a rugged kind of handsome. Amazing. Because of the memories. I wanted to come here with Uncle again. Ratty cake, ratty cake, baker's man. This can't be your only memory of this place as with her. As you can. Had it, poke it, fill it with fruit, put it in the oven, rock, paper, scissors, rock, paper, scissors, shoot. By the way, I still don't have the answer to my question. What question? When am I gonna hear good news from you two? When will Uncle be my dad? Oh god. Iris, please.
Well, let's get going. Yeah, we still have a lot of people to see. <laughs> that is that is a good question. Mizuki is just too powerful. Uh, too powerful for all logic. We also have to get home. Hmm? Shovel Forge. Oh god. Uh, if you try it, I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But we do have a date, don't we? The date we had three months ago isn't over yet. Iris. So let's go. <laughs> Iris, please. Uh. Oh, wow. Okay, um... Marvel. Let's go to Marvel first. It's been a while since we, we've seen Mala. <laughs> Dante, honey! Who is this? Have I not introduced her before? I'm Iris Sagan. Nice to There's the bodyguard, like, right there. Is, is this going to be okay? I'm a net idol from Lemniscape. A virgin. Hmm? Oh my god. <laughs> oh no! Stop, no! <laughs> Mizuki deserves a good mom. Not whatever she had saying, in a uh, show go. A lot of men. <laughs> and what about you, Mama? Me? I'm a fairy godmother, honey. Because I associate with fairies and am an older motherly woman. Wait a minute. Who are you calling old? <laughs> you are. Bodyguard, eh? You're so's bodyguard. Uh, who are you? Don't matter. Talking about so? Quit that gig long time ago. Good for you. You quit? Yeah. That guy fucking sucks. I punched him in the face. Nice. You're drunk, aren't you? I'm not drunk. From the look of you, you're pretty good at hiding it. Mama! Tits! Oops. I meant tip. I got a big tip. If he gives me one more drinky. Don't you think you've had enough? No. No. Oh, you're lucky I'm in a good mood. Fine. One more round, okay? Yay! <laughs> oh my god. This guy's great. Iris, let me introduce you to Mama's little brother. Oh, that's the fridge! Oh my god. <laughs> As you can see, I'm a little tight, honey. How could I see that? You want to? I do! I want to see! Iris, no. Do you even know what she's referring to? Huh? This? It's not Bonito. Then, what is it? Part of the man who cheated on me. <laughs> oh my god. I chopped him up and dried and smoked the flesh. You're joking, right? Am I? <laughs> I can't say much. The public thinks our Ren killed Shoko. And then number 89 busted out of jail and killed Ren. And we're that number 89. And commits suicide by blowing up his own head. Uh-huh. That's what all the news reports have been saying. 
I know there's more to it than that, but... If I hear the truth, I'm only gonna have more questions. Okay, that is true. You're never gonna believe this nonsense. There are a lot of things that don't quite add up. Date's face, for one thing. Looking exactly like number 89. They say that your face got hurt real bad in the explosion. They had to put you under the knife for plastic surgery to save you. Your face turned out like that, by chance. By chance. That's what happened, right? Tell me it is. If it's anything more complicated than that, I will lose my mind. My god. <laughs> okay, let's get up here. We should head out. Yeah. Oh, leaving so soon? Don't worry, I'll be back as long as you have information for me. Oh, enough work. You should come in sometime for pleasure, honey. Sure, Mama. See you soon. Uh... Yeah, it does feel like this is kind of the end, huh? What was that talk about this taking like five hours? How did this take five hours? I am shaking my head at whoever told you that. Date, let me tell you something. God exists. Oh, shut up, <laughs> is this about virus again? When Tessa was in the hospital. I oh pray my God. to this shrine every day. And guess what? My prayers worked. God must have been listening. Are you crying? No, oh dumbass. God. I don't cry. I don't. Yeah, you're crying. Thank you, God. Oh my God. Thank you for saving <laughs> Tessa. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, what, what are you doing here? Someone wanted to see you when she left the hospital. Tessa! You didn't have to come see me! I really wanted to see you! Oh, well, well in that case, My yes, gosh. of course, uh, <laughs> I, I am here! Best day of his life right now, huh? Wedding? Injury? You got shot three months ago. That was just a scratch. Didn't even hurt. I'm all good now. Oh my god. Don't talk to me about that guy anymore. I know he was a murderer. A real piece of shit. But we were brothers. I can't be mad at him, no matter how much he deserves it. But, I can't just forgive him either, you know? So I figure, fuck it. It's better to just forget about him. Wedding. Dress! Bless! Tessa! My god. Imagine. Compress! Process! Tessa! <laughs> what? Crime. Redress! Transgress Tessa, the Net Idol superstar. Oh no! Tessa, they said you bet. Wow, that's really cool. What did you do to these guys? Just a little propaganda. 
sun up to sun down. I made him watch your videos, Tessa. They got addicted. T -t -t Tessa, I'm oh so honored God. to meet you. Is it okay if I shake your hand? You bastard. What makes you think you're good enough to touch her hand? It's fine. It's just a handshake. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so soft. What? Wait, you just realized that? <laughs> Why do you think she... <laughs> Even I realized that. <laughs> Too much excitement, I guess. <laughs> Gee, I do have to wonder them. Why do you think they call her Tessa? Anyway, sorry to bother you, Moba. Dante, wait! Before you go. Not this again. <laughs> oh boy, here it comes. This is hard for me to get out, but... Uh, I'm sure it is. Yeah, spare me. You want to see Iris's panties, right? <gasps> panties? I never asked for something like that. Then what do you want? Puff Puff. Uh, I'm sorry? I want Tessa to Puff Puff me. What do you mean, Puff Puff? You know what I'm saying? Just shove my face in there! Oh my god, you weren't kidding. Oh no. Just... Are you kidding me? You know what? Fine, I'll ask. Dante, you're a real friend. <laughs> oh no. Alright, close your eyes. Yeah, yeah. Like this? Good, yeah. Stay still. Do not open your eyes, okay? Promise! You ready? Yes! Okay, let's do it. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh my god! Dante! I've never felt so alive! All these shitty years of my life have been worth it for this moment! Boss, let's go. I don't know what's God. going on, but okay. This is amazing! I am living! That is so cringe! <laughs> Why is everyone in this game so cringe? Oh man, here comes more cringe. The cringe machine. Oh, Tessa, your surgery went well, didn't it? Oh, we're friends now? Ota told me all about it. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. Oh, who is this? Oh, um... I'm close friends with Ota, ma'am. Is that right? Thank you for taking care of my boy. What's the nurse doing here? You're the nurse from Central Hospital. Well, yes. Have we met? Why are you here? I came to deliver Mayumi's medication. The pharmacist sent me. Wow, personal nurse? Oh my god. <laughs> that was Bob. <laughs> yeah, you went so far not getting caught by Automod. Okay. I belong to the Association of Nurse Actresses. Excuse me? I got a call from my director this morning. They're giving me more lines. Excuse me? 
I used to have a bit part during the opening scene, but now I have lines at the end, too. Um... I'm really happy about that. That's wonderful, sweetie. Hanayo Nasu. It will be Hanayo Yogano next month. You're getting married? Yes. That is so wonderful. Wow, um, sudden character development for this nurse. Thank you. Okay. It's doing great thanks to you. The lunch rush is always crazy. My husband and I are working hard. We never get any time to rest. Oh no. So she's suddenly okay with Iris? Yeah, I don't remember who Yagano is. I visited her in the hospital. Oda brought me. Yeah, I remember. I was so charmed by her. Oh, stop! You're making me blush! I had no idea she was such a nice girl. You thought I was a witch or something before, right? Don't remind me. I was so awful to you. Okay, so I guess they were just... I'm a huge fan! Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, well, congrats to them, I guess. Ota? That boy is a handful of trouble, I tell you. Is he at Limbusky or something? That's not true. Yeah, that's right. Ota can be really heroic and brave when the time calls. I don't want to hear that. <laughs> oh, you're praising my boy. Maybe I should give you a meal on the house. That's okay. Well, Where let's get go. Yeah, goodbye. Thank you for helping my son. He needs friends like you. Sunfish pocket. Oh boy, is this place officially music keys now? I am seriously so happy for you, Tessa. Hey look, there's some on it. It's thanks to you, Oda. If you didn't help me back then. No, really. I didn't do much. I just risked my life to save you. Shut up, Ota. It's a total exaggeration to say that I'm literally responsible for, you know, saving your life. Oh, gosh. Ota told me. Plastic surgery, right? I kind of like this face more than the other one. Good at your job. Please come again. <laughs> well, it's a good thing we don't have X-ray vision anymore. Sorry, Iva. I've been doing good. I'm delivering newspapers in the mornings, working as a janitor during the day, and writing at night. I might just be the hardest working 20-something in Japan. Well, at least they're working. Uh... I don't know about that. Really, though? I've gotta be, like, in the top three in Tokyo alone! Okay, Oda. 
I'm actually exhausted right now. But I can't look tired in front of Tessa. Anyway, how are you? I guess I'm all right. Your left eye, uh... It's fake. I can't see anything out of it. And it doesn't talk. Huh? I see. So, Iba? What a tragedy. Yeah, what a tragedy, he says. Yeah. She was so cute. What a waste. Oh, shut up, Oda. Ah, uh, that's why. If she were real, I would marry her. Really? You would not survive the attempt. <laughs> oh, that is so good. What do you mean? Ota, what are you seeing? In front of Iris? Oh, Tessa, I was kidding. It was a joke. Amazing. It's fine. I don't care. Thank wow. Goodness. I don't think that's what she means. You didn't know? I made lots of friends working here part time. Sup, girl? Sup, girl? Sup, girl? Shut up, Hona. Excuse me? Ota, you can't just say that. <laughs> Shadows. Thread, silhouette, ASAP. Fears. Upset, regret, ASAP. Water. Wet, sweat, ASAP. ASAP, you bet. I can't believe you remember that, Uncle. I'm so happy! Uh, I said most of it. Alright. Let's well, go. Well, Ota. Aw, you're going already? I can see you anytime I want, right? At Matsushita Diner? You'll... you'll come? Yeah, I want you to make me your omelet rice again. <laughs> awesome! Stop by any time. I'll be waiting. All right. <laughs> oh, okay. So here's where Mizuki is. Yeah, this is her company now. Uh oh. Yo! Yo! Yeah! You wanna fight me? No! <laughs> Hello! How are you? Crazy old man. Nothing, huh? What happened, I wonder? Uncle wants to know why you're here. No particular reason. Am I not allowed to be here? I inherited Daddy's stock at Lemniscape. This is my company now. Isn't it Amazing. Now this really here? is her company. That's what she said. Uncle wants to know if you're going to graduate soon. So what if I am? Just buy me a new junior high uniform. And hire a tutor. I want to go to a good school. And a new smartphone. And a new iron pipe. Amazing. That's exactly what she said. Uncle wants to know how you've been lately. You don't know? Even though we live together? Of course you don't know. Because we barely talk. Even after you've officially adopted me, you don't have any sense of responsibility. That's what she said. Uh... Can you cut this out already? What happened? 
muffins. Breakfast this morning. I made the eggs over easy. That's it? Yeah. Well, that's not so bad. No, that's not it. I made the eggs over easy, and then Dante... How can I eat eggs like that? I want my eggs over well. Burn to the pan on the bottom and chewy on top. Oh my god. Why don't you just eat an eraser? An eraser would taste better than what you serve. You shouldn't say that about Mizuki's cooking. That's mean. You're in the wrong here, Uncle. Oh Why my god. Don't you <laughs> apologize. Mizuki is the one who should be honest. I'm like her hero. What? When I was in the hospital, you were crying like a baby. Oh, I can't live without Dante. That's what you said. No, I didn't. And you were never in the hospital. Yes, I was. Was I not? Nice. Anyway, why don't you just make up if Dante keeps his promise, I will. Promise? The ramen. You said you would take me. Oh, that. Yeah, uh, not yet. Okay, fine. Soon, okay? You promise? Promise. Can't believe. Good. I'm glad you two are being civil again. Wow. Misuki went over by ramen. Anyway, should we head out, Iris? Yeah. All right, Mizuki. See you soon. See you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so it is funny how he's still dealing with the aftermath of this parallel world stuff. Oh god. Iris, didn't you say you were going to see everyone who visited you at the hospital today? Yes, Mom. I still have some people to see. But Uncle really wanted to come here. I said no such thing. <laughs> Come on, don't be shy. There are a lot of things you want to talk about, right? Come on, just do it. Oh, Uncle, you're so shy. Yeah, how's uh, how's thank you. This is all thanks to you, Falco. No, I didn't do anything. Also, uh, that name. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Why? Mr. Date. I'm grateful from the bottom of my heart. Things have calmed down thanks to you. The school has changed, but being a teacher hasn't. They were my best friends. We would always go to the coffee shop after school. Wait. What? Okay, I I know. I see a chat. Um they had this old game machine there. It looked like a table and it was about shooting invading aliens or something like that. We talked about all sorts of things sitting there. Our love lives, our potential careers, things we didn't like about our teachers. It was their idea that I become a teacher, you know? They told me that teaching elementary suited me perfectly. Those were such fun times. Um... Your box. Where? Yeah, you guys said it's by the front door, but...
That's a cushion? Oh, be behind me. Oh, this thing. You don't change. I caught you six years ago doing the same thing. Why? <laughs> ah, you saw that. What? Okay. This is about my arm. Don't worry about that. You tried to defend me. I know that. You're too nice, Mom. My God. I will never forgive you. You have to take responsibility. Iris. No, let me talk. Uncle will be your right arm. That's how he can make it up to you. Iris is just trying so hard. Maybe not now. It might take some time. But I'll be waiting. One day, Uncle will stand on Mom's right side. And we can go wherever we want. The three of us. To the ocean. A river. An amusement park. Barbecues. And we can make Okonomiyaki. Where's that hot plate I bought? on the shelf and I'm gonna need a raincoat hey that's cheating <laughs> you're planning on being covered in flour of course that's why it's fun yeah <laughs> <laughs> well Iris and Mizuki can be sisters I guess <laughs> at least they're friends <laughs> Why do we have to go here? Oh my god. Oh boy. I see your face has improved. This one doesn't make me so angry. Thanks, not dad. What did you come here for? I want to ask you something. That's a strange question to ask a man in his own Yeah, why are we asking that? I just thought prison would suit you better. Don't you know the law? No one can touch me. Even though we both know you committed a crime. Indeed. 18 years ago. And I was not the one who killed Monica Iwai. That was my son, Saito. But you hired the Kumakuras to hide the body. The statute of limitations for improper handling of a corpse is three years. I did what I did to protect my son. I hardly think that is a sin. No, I think that's still pretty hecked up, man. Are you familiar with Article 105 of the Penal Code? Relatives of those who have committed crimes cannot be prosecuted for evidence tampering or obstruction of justice. That's ridiculous. I agree. If I were still a congressman, I might think about changing it. That's right. You're not a politician anymore. The media has already begun tearing you to pieces. Yes. 
Soon I won't be able to live in this country anymore. I'll retire to an island somewhere and live the rest of my days in leisure. Well, good for you. Be careful, so. There are a lot of people out there who have a grudge against you. People who will follow you to the ends of the earth. Hmm. That's none of your concern. Is that all you wanted to ask me? Oh, wow. I've been studying for the past three months. I've learned a lot about the explosion of the chemical plant in Kawasaki. It was caused by you and Rohan, the chairman of the Kumakuras at the time. As you know, my son Saito was abnormal with all of the awful things that my son did. I used my money to cover it up, but that got increasingly expensive, you see. One day, nine years ago, Saito called me. Dad, I thought of a plan. A foolproof plan to make us rich. That was his idea? <laughs> chemical plant explosion plan to help ensure that the casino in Kabasaki would be extraordinarily profitable. It was Saito's idea. True. My God. My son was born with an abnormal mind. But if I had never been involved with Monica in the first place, perhaps he wouldn't have ended up losing control completely. Ah. <sighs> As soon as he drove his knife into Monica, something awakened in him. In the end, that's what led to his destructive, violent plan. You sound like you're blaming yourself. Perhaps. By the way, did you ever meet number 89? That is amazing. No, I didn't. Uh... Did you ever see his face? No. Why? No reason. Yeah, why did you call Shoko's phone? Recall the conversation we had? That my secretary got a call from number 89? That is true. I did get that call. I know. You spoke with number 89, didn't you? I did. What did you talk about? He told me this. A woman named Shoko Nadami knows what happened 18 years ago. Contact her. And you called her phone? Yes. That was... I can't That's say it. exactly. The only thing he said was, I realized everything when Shoko arrived. I have to see her again. I had no idea what he was talking about. Wow, so that was just, I guess, by coincidence? Oh man, <laughs> this whole explanation. I'm glad that they're at least giving us a little bit more structure about kind of these loose ends, but... <sighs> 
because of the woman you call boss. Six years ago, she came to me and explained the whole thing. So, so new about the entire thing already. You know about the Cyclops serial killings? The culprit is your son, Saito Sejima. But you already knew that, didn't you? What are you trying to say? I'm saying we should make a deal. You give me one thing, and I promise none of this will be released to the public. What is it? Leave Saito with us. Tell anyone who asks that Saito is soul-searching on a trip around the world or something. My god. Do we have a deal? Boss. I didn't have much of a choice. Oh my gosh. If I refused, Saito's crimes would be exposed and my political career would be over. Besides, I never held much love for him in the first place. Yeah, you sure didn't. She was practically doing me a favor. So, of course, I said yes. And in doing so, I was able to learn a secret of the Metropolitan Police Department. It worked quite nicely for me. Well, I'll be seeing you, so. I don't think so. I very much doubt that. Yeah, you're probably right. Alright, um... Oh, damn. I left Iris waiting. She might be angry. I gotta get back to her soon. Yes, we go home. I'm glad you finally got out of that hospital. Thanks, boss. Why are you asking? You see me every day. Are you gonna go to the club later? <laughs> yeah, he really left his child in the car. Interested? But Adult you're still child. too young. I'll take you when you're older. Promise. Still thinking about her, huh? No, not exactly. Well, doesn't surprise me. You two were great partners. Um, well... I want to ask you something. Three months ago, when we exchanged our final words, I look like I do now. I wasn't in Date's body, but Iba still obeyed me. Second command confirmed. I understand. You're underestimating the Wadget system. Iba was no ordinary AI. She was human in so many ways, including the ability to see and think beyond the physical. She didn't need your voice or Iris authentication or anything like that. She knew the real you and regarded you as her master. That's why she followed your command, despite looking completely different. I think, maybe, she knew your soul. And she was very much attached to our brainwaves for five years. So what happened to Pewter? Boss, I gotta ask. Why didn't you tell me about what happened six years ago? Well, when Shoko's corpse was found, I didn't think it had anything to do with the Cyclops killer. I thought the culprit was Rohaku <laughs> remember? And he committed suicide a year before. I never thought that he was swapping bodies. And the other person responsible for the original Cyclops serial killings was locked up in Fuchu. Making it impossible for Saito or Rohan to be involved. So, I didn't tell you. 
Besides, the sink machine being used to swap bodies is a national secret. I was ordered to never reveal that information to anyone under any circumstances. Even the original person who swapped the bodies under your advice. So that's why you kept me in the dark? Yeah. I feel like that's a bad reason. By the way, Date, I have a gift for you. A uh, gift? Close your eyes. Don't worry, it's just some knockout gas. Excuse me? Uh, what? You're going to experience something incredible. That's my present to you. Why? Shh. Sweet <laughs> dreams, Date. Also, no, I don't think we ever found the BL locker. This is the sink room. Pewter? Why is Pewter still? <laughs> okay. I heard. Plastic surgery, right? Must have been a really bad wound to have to remake your whole face like that. But it looks like it worked at least. For a minute, I was thinking your name was Karage. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I'm named after fried chicken, Date. Come on! <laughs> oh, that response was great. Sorry, I've had that on my chest for months. Anyway, haven't I told you already? My name is Kagami. You've told me before? Many times. Yeah, why are you here? Am I not allowed to be here? You should be in jail, for real. Of course not. You should have been arrested three months ago. Yes, I was arrested. I'm eating awful meals every awful day in an equally awful detention facility. Then how are you here? Hmm, I wonder. Don't act dumb. Date, it's okay. Boss brought him here. Boss. She did? Why? She told us not to tell you. Huh? Anyway, I'm sort of like his handler now. I'm supposed to be an inspector, but I was the only person qualified for this job. Why? Kind of pathetic, isn't it? I did not. But I did use the sink chair. For what? Something. <laughs> Don't worry. She's with the boss. She's safe. What the hell is happening here? <laughs> Everything that the boss did, she did for you. Ask her about it. She truly cares about you, you know. That's why she kept silent about what happened six years ago. Huh? You were once an assassin. If your secret ever got out, your life would be effectively over. Yeah, boss made some very questionable decisions, the boss that's for sure. protected you. By hiding your past. I don't think she wanted you to leave her alone. Now, who is she to you? Anyway, now that this is done, I'll excuse myself. All right, bye, Peter. Go back to gay baby jail. Iris, what happened to boss? She went home. She said she needed to do something in Kabukicho. She left? Anyway, forget about that. Let's play! Play? Shovel Forge. What? Huh? What?
everything just happens at the warehouse, man. <laughs> we gotta go to the warehouse for the last time before this stupid game's over. Iris, why did you want to come here? Haven't you seen everyone you wanted to already? Yeah! Thank you for today! It was a lot of fun! <laughs> Is the day finally over? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Thank you. Not just for today, but for everything. Six years ago, oh you and me and my mom, and I'm so grateful for that. Will you close your eyes for me, Uncle? You want me to close my eyes? Yeah, please. Wait. You want me to close my eyes? Do you... Just do it, quick! I'm so nervous, I'm shaking. Oh, man. Oh, no. No way. It's happening. Uh. All right. Okay, open them. <laughs> He's so cringe. <laughs> oh God, cry. <laughs> I'm like this. I'm at a loss for words. I don't know what to say. You... You are... Uh... That is, uh... Um... Who are you again? I take, please. You haven't changed. Yes, that is what happened. However, fragments of my data were being secretly uploaded to cloud servers around the world for years. By downloading and decoding these fragments, I was able to regenerate my memories and consciousness. Well, I'm glad that worked out. It was the Wadjet system that brought me back to life. That system is responsible for proliferating my data. <laughs> she really got torrented. Wadjet is like a mother to me. Yeah, did they? Was that why? <laughs> my God! In my left eye. But why are we at the warehouse for this? Yes. How did you get in there? I see you have not become any more astute in my absence. Think carefully. Everything that the boss did, she did for you. Are they gonna throw him like a surprise party or something? Yes. Computer embedded me in your eye socket. Oh, sorry to interrupt, but I'm wearing an earpiece. I can hear Iba too. Huh? I knew the whole time. Amazing. You told me about the plan to restore Iba. I wanted it to be a surprise for you, so. Is this my thank you? Yeah, but it's not over yet. You idiot, I thought you died. I was worried about you. Pardon, but you were the one who issued the self-destruct order. We had no choice. Anyway, I want to know something. The number, 41205. There must be something to it. It does not. It is only my favorite number. Amazing. Your favorite number? I see. What is it? Iris, do not tell him. Uncle, think of the alphabet. What's the fourth letter? 
A, B, C, D. It's D. And the first? A. And the 20th? And the fifth? <laughs> I see. Anyway. Anyway. Um, I have a... Welcome back. Glad to be back. I'm home. I'm sorry you have to be with us, cringe lord, again. Well, now that Iva has risen from the dead, I think we should celebrate with a dance number! A what? Hit it! Oh my god. <laughs> Why? <laughs> But why are we at the warehouse for this? It's not like... Yeah, why the warehouse? Also, the second game also ended on a dance number, so... You know... This is not... LV Ordinary for this game franchise, I guess. Iris is like an idol, right? And this is her only song?
By the way, everyone, wow. the reason you can see me right now is because I'm projecting oh my a special technology. Oh, my oh, Incredible. <laughs> You're gonna make him play it too, huh? Sure, I'll save. Oh god. This. <laughs> wow, yeah, what a game. What an experience. Let me go to my chatting screen. Oh my gosh. That was a ride. Okay, well, honestly, because of what Harmony said, I was anticipating this to go on for like tomorrow, but we really made it out of that tonight. Um, so I don't know what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> yeah, they really did it in the, at the warehouse, like they should. <laughs> yeah, I'm just thinking, I don't know what to do tomorrow. So, well, here's my thing. Um, I'm sure everyone here who, I don't know, who else is still in chat right now? I know you three are. I don't know if anyone else technically is. Uh, no. I... I don't have the second game. <laughs> um... Since... You know, I watched a playthrough of it. No, that's okay. <laughs> no, that's okay. That is perfectly okay. I can deal with that. <laughs> I don't want to go through that again! No! Don't make me go through more like thirst flooding! Uh, um... I don't know. Maybe I just will not stream tomorrow. Or maybe I will stream... Never mind. I was going to say, I can stream um, Splatoon, but... It's Bay. Xenoblade. No, that's okay. Xenoblade is way too long for me uh, to play on stream. Oh my gosh. Um. Yeah, I don't actually know what I want to do after this. There's definitely things that I could do. Um. Hmm. Well, no, I mean, I am going to play a little goody two-shoes, but I need to wait for it to come out first. Yeah, I, I just need to fill in the blanks in between. Um, well, they did actually um, announce the Splatterween. Uh, let me go get those dates real quick. I mean, I've, I've already played Half a Full Boyfriend. Um, okay, so like, listen, here's the thing. Um, I don't want to spend money on new games right now. So I could, I just probably should go through my backlog of things, you know? Um, okay, so Splatterween is going to be on the weekend of the 27th. So... That week, um, I'll have that. Okay, but seriously, that's just asking me to buy more games, though. I already have other games that I've bought, um, that I wanted to stream. Um, 
But yeah, so the week of the 27th, I can do Splatterween. I'm not sure what, um, what team we're going with. I know Spock wants to do Zombie, but I think Echo wants to do Ghost. Um, I, I guess maybe eventually I can do Holiday Star, but I'm just not really feeling it right now. See, because it's like more of the Halloween season, I kind of wanted to do World of Horror. Um, it's a game that I really wanted to play for a long time now. Um, but it is technically still early access. So I don't want to know- I, I mean, I don't know if I want to just hold off on it until it technically releases. Other than that, um, I'm thinking maybe I could play Ib. I actually did get Ib already. Uh, but I'm just trying to think, would I be able to finish it before we switch over to Little Goody Two Shoes? That is the biggest question I have right now. If that, Marie, please, it's okay. I, I just really want to get through some of my backlog of games. Um. <laughs> I I appreciate the offer, but. Five sessions. Hmm. Yeah, so that might not be enough time. Uh, I want to get to it eventually. I, I know that, you know, it's an order game and I have played it before, but it's a really good game. I definitely want to re-experience it again. Now that I think about it, uh, Limbus Company did also just release their holiday um, event too. I'm not sure what that's going to look like right now, but I don't know. I'm trying to speedrun, no! <laughs> I'm gonna take like five streams just to get through one fight. Um, well, true, I could maybe make Splob and uh, VIP. <laughs> so Automod can maybe stop me being mean to her. Um, I'm gonna have to check how many VIP slots I have though, cause um, it's not infinite. Um, but yeah, I do have some smaller horror games that we can maybe try out in the uh, next few weeks, or. I say next few weeks, but it's only just one week of this. Um, so how about... Let's see, um... I can probably just... Yeah, I can probably just discuss this in the Discord. Um, cause I have some smaller horror games that I've picked up over the years. Like Cemetery Mary, Grimm's Hollow, um... I just don't know exactly how long they are. And I'm hoping that they can at least be a good way to kind of ease into things. But man, man, when I think of like short Halloween games, I'm still thinking of Flesh Blood Concrete. That one was just really good. It was so short but so good. Um, definitely still highly recommend. Anyway, I am done rambling. If I can't think of anything by tomorrow, here's what I want to do. <laughs> here's what I want to do, okay? I want to stream Sound Horizon. <laughs> not on Twitch. <laughs> Certainly not on Twitch. But, I want to... Stream <laughs> so uh, be on the lookout for a message from me. <laughs> I just want people to experience Rebel's music for real. Like nothing, nothing matters more to me in this world. But yeah, um, 
it's not going to be my um halloween stream that i want to do that's going to be later because i need to plan a little bit more around it um but tomorrow it'll be something else I have some plans already, but it'll be something else. <laughs> Alright, anyway, sending you guys over to Oda, who's playing Persona 5 Royal. Ooh. Didn't know he did that. Alright, that's it for me uh, for tonight. I'll see you guys whenever. Bye! Bye-bye!